May I tell you, this is Casa Marikit. Again, one of the oldest ancestral houses here in Harojuli, the city. And the word Marikit is actually the name of that very old tree. See the roots flowing, growing all the way from the floor. May I remind you not to touch it? Because the myth story says, if you touch it, then you might get sick. So don't touch it. Whatever you do, it won't, you know, it pays to just listen sometimes. All right? And so Manu now will take us a quick tour to our quick tour inside the house. So, Rio, can you tell the viewers where we are right now? Oh, yeah, sure. Casa Marik House of Memories. Yes, actually we say Casa Marikit. Ka Casa Marikit. And how old is it? Here it says 200 years. 200 years yeah. old house. Mm. You can imagine how many generations lived in this house. Wow. So it means, think about the spirits living here. Hello, it will be nice. Oh, so Rio, yeah. who's the owner of the house? No, so, the guy who owned this house was the so vice president of the club once, right? Mm -hmm. So it seems like uh, not only this is his house, but also his office. It was his office indeed. We can imagine some local citizens coming up here asking for help from him. He was our former vice president, Honorable Fernando Lopez. Fernando Lopez. And earlier, we went to the Nelly Garden which happens to be also the house of a relative of his. How do you feel sitting here knowing that this was probably a, a historical place for you to see? That's a good question. Hmm. How do I feel about it? <laughs> you, you told me earlier that you like history. Uh, yeah, I love history and uh, this is more like a modern history, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, well, I've never seen this guy before, I've never been here before, but I think this is somehow like a way to go back, you know, to the past. Yeah, so, yeah, I like this. I think for me, sitting here, being here in this house tells me that Iloilo has its own great people, you know, it has created great minds and uh, it's, it's sad that the young generation have no idea who they are. And so, I hope people, the viewers, you know, appreciate this. This is worth having, really. I recommend this highly to all the tourists, both local and international. So, it was quite surprising that, I mean, like, uh, this is such a big country, right? And I just simply thought that Lula is a small town. But, you know, this vice president was from this town, so it was pretty surprising. So I can see that like back then when you know during his time like this small town was bigger than other like cities like San Diego. Yeah. So they still hold their like relics, that's really relics. And yeah, it's so good that they preserved it. Uh, yeah. And for fifty pesos you can get in and have a quick tour uh, of this house that has now been converted as a museum dedicated as a tribute. To the illustrious man, Don Fernando Hofilie, Hofilenia Lopez. Okay. People always play chess. <laughs> oh, this evil is dedicated to chess. The good thing about this place, you can touch the face. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. White House. L. I know. I don't know how to play this one. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I'm just not joking. <laughs> you know how to play this, Matthew? I know. <laughs> yeah. So fast. Chelly. Good. Wow. No, 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 I was playing. Chaman, chaman. Ding, 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 ding. Brown girl. Okay, now. <laughs> I'm a round girl. <laughs> <laughs> no.